how to create a landing page with wordpress hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys step by step how you can start building your landing page with wordpress so let's get into it now the first thing that we're gonna do to get started is install a couple of plugins this is a totally blank wordpress site if i just show you guys the site over here this is just blank i haven't added anything to this and to make our jobs and our lives a little easier we're going to be using a couple of plugins there are only two basic ones that you really need so let's get started now once you've logged onto your wordpress dashboard you want to click on plugins on the bottom left and once you click on plugins you want to click on add new now once you do that you want to click on the top right and search for Elementor and you want to install Elementor. Now, after you install Elementor, you're also going to search for starter templates. Just search for starter templates and then this is the application you want to install. And you're just going to install both of these applications. Now you're going to go back into your installed plugins and you're going to click on activate that is present right under Elementor. And you're just going to set up your Elementor account. Now, I already have an account, so I can skip this process. And I can continue on over here. I'm just going to click on Next, and I can skip on the basic stuff. But I can use one of the Elementor templates or, you know, the starter templates, whichever one I prefer. But I'm not going to be using these right now. I'm going to just close this out and just go into elementor and i'm going to untick the top two items so you're going to go into elementor on your left toolbar and you're going to untick in your general settings you have post types you're going to just select landing pages and then click on save on the bottom left now if you click on your pages over here you're going to have some sample pages that you can delete so this privacy policy page or your sample page you can delete these you don't need any pages at all right now now, once you have deleted these pages, you want to go back into plugins and you want to scroll down and you're going to find your starter templates plugin. So you're going to click on activate on the starter templates plugin. And once you click on activate, you're going to choose your page builder. You're going to select Elementor over here. And now over here, you're going to find a bunch of different free to use templates as well. You're going to have e-commerce templates, blog templates community templates, personal sites, professional, and you can even search for, you know, whatever you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking to build a landing page. So we're just going to search for that. And you can see all of these free to use landing page templates are ready for you to get started with. So let's say I want to build a simple landing page for maybe a new product that I'm launching. Maybe I want to build a landing page for my wedding. So there are multiple different types of landing pages. They might be for e-com, they might be personal use, they might be educational, they might be an announcement. So it really depends on what kind of goal you're going to create for your landing page. But landing pages usually I just have one particular goal. So if it's a wedding invitation, so they're just going to have a wedding registry or, you know, a gift registry. If it's a product launch, they're just going to have call to actions to purchase the product or, you know, sign up for the product. If it's just a basic landing page for subscriptions, they're going to have multiple different subscription call to action buttons. So I'm going to be using the product launch one as an example. And you can click on skip and continue over here. Choose the particular colors you want to use and you can unlock access over here. And you can get started and get instant access with the bundle packs. Now, if you don't want to pay for this, it's totally fine and totally reasonable. Not everyone wants to pay. So you can see, you can filter out only the free templates as well. You will be able to see some of the popular ones and you're going to see even in the top, you know, lists, you're going to have multiple different types of templates. You can see you have the locksmith template and you can choose any one template that does not have the premium icon on it. And you're easily going to find a similar item to it. So let's say i'm gonna go with something similar so i can go with the locksmith one and i can customize this to my product so i'm gonna take this one over here and you can get started by uploading your logo so you're gonna click on select files over here go ahead and upload your logo so i'm just taking this as a logo i don't actually have an actual logo for my brand so i'm just gonna be using any random image honestly like this one i'm just going to open this up and now this image will be inserted in all places of the logo so i'm going to click on select over here 
and then I'm going to decrease the width and click on continue. And then you're going to see your default colors. So I want to change my colors to pinks like this. And then below that you have your fonts, which I'm also going to change. So I think I like this one. So I'm going to click on continue and then you can just enter your basic info over here to get started with the actual Astra you know registration so just like that now it's going to take the template and it's going to just download that template on your wordpress dashboard so you can get started with editing it with elementor so you can customize this and make it your own so just like that this has been completed and then you're going to click on view your website and then you can just click on exit to dashboard on the top left as well and just click on leave and now this is our current website and i can just go on ahead and go into our pages section and you will see you know you have your home which is your front page and this landing page is a bit more detailed but make sure to note that this is a landing page this is not a fully functioning website because if you click on any of the top items they are just hyperlinked or slugged to the bottom section of the page they're not actual separate pages but all of this information is just present over here so to begin customizing this landing page and making it our own I'm going to click on edit with Elementor and I can get started with the block by block editor on Elementor to make this into my own. So what I'm going to do is first off, we're going to enter a heading like this. We have a heading block and you can drag any widget anywhere to add more information. And if you don't like where you've added a certain item, you can remove it as well. You can go back into your actual block editor. And you can, you know, add more items, you can remove a certain block. This just totally is dependent on how you're looking to build each individual section. So you can see you can even edit your basic typography, global fonts, buttons, images, fields, and site identity. Then if you take a look at our block by block editor, so the first thing I might want to do is I am just going to re-edit this info over here. So obviously this is not what I want to write. Let's say I want to write the iconic green hoodie is here. And then on the button, let's say I want this landing page to be just to just for people to purchase a particular hoodie. So I can add that and I can remove the address. Let's say this is only an online purchase. So I can go into this icon box and just remove it like so. And then I'm going to click on the button. And then I can link to the actual page where this button is going to be linking to. And then I can go into the advanced of this button to also change, you know, all of the padding and all of the overall settings of this button. And let's say this is going to be default color, which is going to be our default. And this is going to be buy now like this. And then once I've included my call to action, I might want to replace this image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to delete, you know, a couple of these empty sections. So I'm just going to go into our theme builder and I can insert, you know, my own particular item if I want, but I don't want to do that. But I'm just going to go into our basic settings over here in our global editor and what we're going to do is that we're going to take this image in the background and you can see over here once you hover your mouse over it that you have your basic content width you have your structure and you can convert the container as well now what i want to do is i want to if i want to remove the widget i can just click on this and the entire thing would be removed but then if i want to add it again I can do it in the form of a block so I can add a image first which might be you know the hoodie or whatever item it might be I can click on this click on the image and then add that and if you ever make any mistakes you always have the option to go back to this particular previous section so you can just do that and this will lead you back to your original section now as you guys can see over here if I click on this you have your layout then you have your style. So we have in our style, we have our border, typography, and background. So you have your background types and then as well as some of your basic editing functions as well. Now, let's say I want to go into style, go into background type, and then I want this to be a slideshow so I can add images from here 
let's say I want to upload my own so I can click on upload files click on select files and then we're going to go into our downloads to upload the file that we have so I'm just going to choose this image over here and I'm just waiting for this to be uploaded and then I can click on create a new gallery for this image to be added into our slideshow insert gallery like this and you guys can see this image has been added on top you can enter whatever image you want and then customize the rest of the sections and once you've completed it you can click on update on the bottom left and go back into your wordpress site so if we click on over here and just take a look at our site you will be able to see all of the new changes that you've made and in this way you can build a simple and easy landing page using wordpress so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe